welcome all let us look at the content which has been covered in a new course for piping engineers on valve material specification that is vms let us look at various sections which have been covered the overall content revolves around the sections of vms if you see any vms will comprise of scope abbreviations reference documents valve numbering system general notes and few attachments these att attachments are valve index valve data sheets inspection requirements so this makes the vms a complete deliverable so in this course we'll look at each and every section one by one and we'll see how we can develop this deliverable so this is going to be very important section for piping engineers for example if we talk about in the beginning we'll talk about introduction part where we'll we will look into the definitions type of information which is there in the vms what are the outcomes of vms and what is the importance of vms this is the introduction part then we'll start looking at various sections one by one in first section that is scope we'll talk about various sections which are covered then we'll talk about the purpose and advantages of scope similarly we'll talk about abbreviations what kind of abbreviations are there why we require these abbreviations and what are various advantages in reference document we'll talk about various codes and standard other references and types of references and various benefits numbering system this is really very important part of any vms because we are defining the numbering system for all the valves we'll look at what is numbering system and its importance what are the various sections involved and how we prepare it then we'll look at the general notes what are various general notes why these are required and how we can utilize this section then we'll talk about the attachments various attachment what do they represent and what are the advantages then we'll look at these attachments in detail because these are the central part of any vms document so valve index we'll talk about what is valve index what kind of information is there why it is important and how to prepare we'll take few examples from various vms documents and we'll see how we prepare the valve index then the most important part that is valve data sheets there are few sections which any valve data sheet will have for example journal design section material section testing section and general notes so we will talk about we'll take an example of uh, valve data sheet and we'll talk about each and every sub section of each section for example in general we'll talk about various subsections how we get that information where to locate and how we represent in the data sheet same for design section we'll talk about all design parameters which are there right in a data sheet and how we get the information then we'll talk about how we fill it in the data sheet then the most important part is material valve materials this we are going to do in detail right we will be covering uh, five sections here if you see the construction of material for valves uh, material of construction for valve that is moc we'll talk about carbon steel valves low temperature carbon steel valves stainless steel high temperature carbon steel so we'll talk about all the astm standards we'll check what kind of chemical and mechanical properties are there and what are the various materials which are commonly used for valves right how they are different from each other what are various elements composition of those uh, materials and how they impact on overall performance of the valve so we'll talk about material of construction in detail especially for valves so during that we'll talk about various astm standards which are specially associated with valves then we will talk about the classification of valves we'll look into various isolation valves regulation valves non return valves and we'll talk about various types of each valve we'll talk about various advantages and applications so that we can understand what kind of valves are there in process industry now then we'll talk about uh, the anatomy of gate valves 
we'll take four api standards api 600 valves 602 valves 6d valves 6a valves so we'll talk about each and every component right we'll take example of each and every component and we'll see how it is associated with the valve and what are the various components their application their advantages disadvantages for valves so that once we go through these four api standards we'll come to know what kind of components are there then only it will be helpful to discuss the valve data sheet section so once we know the components we'll come to know what kind of materials we have to utilize along with that we'll talk about api 660 in detail we we'll look at various clauses, various important clauses which are associated with valves and we generally uh, look into all these clauses which are associated with the design of valves. So once we go through these four sections, we'll talk about the material selection criteria. We'll look into trims, what kind of trims are there, what kind of non-trim items are there, right? Then we'll try to visualize uh, in a dissection uh, diagram of valve where we'll see what are the various trims what are various non trims and how they look like how they are located how they are associated with each other right then we'll talk about various sources of information from where we get the information about all these items right whether it is process metallurgy licensor vendor or any other discipline we we'll talk about that so how we start working on valve trims or valve non trims so that section will cover here then we'll talk about various clauses and api tables especially with respect to api 600 okay so so that we can understand how these standards are helping us to standardize the overall system We'll take care of all the clauses, all the tables, which are specially related to each and every component of the valve. So once we know about all these clauses, we will be able to fill that information in material section of data sheet. Then we'll look at various options, right? There will be few permutation combination where we need to select the trims, trim materials, non-trim, non-trim materials. So we'll look at various options. All the options which are possible, we'll look into and we'll try to locate it from various sources and we'll try to fill it in the data sheet. Then similarly, we'll look at various options of non-trim items. So once these non-trim items are identified, then only we can identify the material for individual item. So this way we are going to cover the trims, non-trims in detail. So once we know all these things, then only we'll be able to fill the material section. Then we look at the testing section of data sheet. What are the various items we need to fill in this section from where we get the information. For example, API 598 is the main standard. So we'll look into various details of API 598, right? What are the various testing requirements are there? What kind of pressure we require? For what duration we do that testing? For what components we perform those testing? So all those things shall be covered in this section. Then the last part that is inspection requirements. We'll look at various inspection requirements which we need to fill in the data sheet. We'll look at various other sources of information who provide this kind of information, which we will be requiring to fill this section, right? Then we'll see how we have covered the whole course. So if you see this, once you go through this, you will be going through all the material codes and standard requirements, all the standard formats of VMS, various sections of VMS, so that way we can cover the whole topic in detail. So major highlights, it is going to be covered within 75 plus recorded lectures. More than 10 hours of recorded content will be there. Once you enroll, you will get lifetime access. Certificate of completion will be provided. And this is based on real time problems, right? It is prepared by industry experts with more than 20 years of experience. 
so i'm sure this is going to be a very good uh, course if you enroll you won't regret uh, enrolling to this course you will definitely gain a lot of new things so happy learning stay tuned